My name is David Parker. I am a devoted disciple of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. I'm also founder of and president of Miski Ministries, a nonprofit corporation that focuses on sharing God's unconditional love and grace with the lost and dying world. For eight years now, through Christ, our Christ-centered, Holy Spirit-empowered ministry, we've been able to help thousands receive help physically, materially, spiritually, and financially. All glory to God. In this present season, God has put in my heart to construct an after-school multi-purpose building in an extremely poor village in the Philippines. This village is called Angel Village. It's home to approximately 100 families with 150 plus children. Most of them live in native bamboo huts with no electricity. Though there is a government school nearby, and we encourage each and all children to attend the government school, even though they are extremely overcrowded, class sizes range from 60 to 70 students per one teacher. This is the norm in the Philippines. After school, the student is then to return. They return home and only left to do their homework via candlelight or kerosene lamp on bamboo floors. God has put in my heart a vision to provide a well-lit facility for these children to come and learn, be tutored, do their assignments and projects. In this building, I plan on bringing teachers, professional artists, musicians, carpenters, lawyers, doctors, police, athletes to teach and share life lessons with these children. As I stated before, we are Christ-centered and all we do revolves around Jesus Christ. And we encourage, we will encourage and mentor each participant to develop their own personal relationship with God, the Creator. We will teach the Bible, we will train missionaries, pastors, we will train raise up praise dancers, musicians, worship leaders to go out into the world to reach their God-called destinies through each one of them. We'll be able to share and pour out God's love to these lives, these precious lives daily. Uh, the present situation in the Philippines is our building is 95% complete. It has a large classroom, multi-purpose uh, building we call it as uh, many activities will be there able to do worship center it'll be a feeding center a film showing center birthday parties for the children etc etc uh, we have a kitchen for cooking and it has a private bathroom yes we do have some needs the basic the, the immediate needs we have are uh, furnishing the place we need tables and chairs we need a whiteboard you know for teaching we need a TV for teaching and showing videos, uh, educational videos, movies, uh, a fridge and a microwave would be nice. Um, we'll also need some support for uh, weekly feedings for the children or bi-weekly feedings we're believing God for. Um, we'll need some school supplies, a printer for uh, some of the assignments, of course, that the children need. Uh, some of them, they range from preschool to college level uh, children. Most importantly, we need your prayers. In faith, believing, agreeing with us as God continues to meet all our needs. We can't do it on our own, but we're not on our own. You know God is with us, he's guided us, and we know where God guides, he also provides. And he's more than able to do what we can think or ask. We ask you to prayerfully consider partnering with us. Just ask God what you should do, then obey. We are also open to missionaries, any visitors who want to come and share hands-on. We will house you and we give you an open invitation to come. We encourage it. We ask you to come. It'll change your life. And now our prayer to you, in Jesus' name, we just speak life, life more abundant to you. We pray that each one of you grows in spirit and in revelation of God's will for your life and God's love to you, to each and every one of you, that you will walk and grow with Him daily in an intimate, personal relationship with Him. We just ask this. We speak life to you all in Jesus' name. Amen.